a bodybuilder at his root is concerned with self-development through self-mastery. Everybody's on steroids. Everybody. Look at the guys in the Olympia stage. And you're hitting a pose. And, and then you're like... When it comes to talking about what choice should be made, it's that unenhanced bodybuilding is the way to go. This is time right now for natural bodybuilding to grow, where everybody's seeing that health is the most important thing. I was never going to be a man's physique. Didn't have much of an off-season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the best. Um, what is the best advice you can give to someone? Because I, I know, like, let's say you go to the trainer, right? And the first thing you ask, okay, well, do you want to do you want to bulk up or do you want to lose weight, right? And uh, the reality of the situation is, I feel like most people are they need both. They want to get big. Like I'm talking about for men, right? Let's say they want to get bigger, they want to get muscle, but they also want to lose, you know, let's say fat on their on their belly or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, what's the right approach to be able to gain muscle? but not get fat and actually maybe lose some of your fat? Like, what's the right approach for, for regular people, Body not for bodybuilding? Bodybuilding is just like fashion. Like, there's trends. Right now, the trend is being lean and being fit. You see guys with six packs and that are ripped on social media, so everybody wants to look like that. If you're new to bodybuilding, and listen, when I say bodybuilding, I'm talking about the regular people that you want to you wanna answer this question for. Body, if you're a 90-year-old woman and you're training in the gym, uh, if you're not a powerlifter, you're a bodybuilder. If you're a 10-year-old kid and you're not a powerlifter, you're a bodybuilder. So if you're training to lose some weight for your wedding or you want to slim down for a vacation, you're a bodybuilder. You're building your body. You don't have to put oil on and wear Speedo to be a bodybuilder. So that's what I'm talking about when I say bodybuilder, everybody. So when you're new to bodybuilding and you just started out your first year – you can make the most amount of gains that you'll ever make. You'll gain more muscle on a program that I will on the same program. It's like your first year of life. From day one to day 365, a baby will grow at a faster rate than it ever will in its life. And you got to take advantage of that. So whatever they do, they're going to grow. And it is very, very much possible to grow muscle and burn fat. So they can get bigger and leaner. That being said, a lot of the younger guys after that initial year that we're talking about, 90% or 95% of them, if they dieted down and got below 8%, they would be unhappy with their size because they just don't have enough muscle. And when they diet, probably they're making some mistakes. But when you diet, you also lose some muscle and some density. So my, my advice for the younger guys is build size and strength. Don't get fat, don't do a dirty bulk, but focus on size and strength. Focus on building your strength, applying that strength to volume, meaning you know more than six reps, not more than 10 or 12 reps, uh, and grow and get bigger. Give yourself some time. And then when you feel like you have a good base, you have some good density, then you can cut down. But I see guys coming to me and they're like, you know, I wanna compete. How long have you been training? Oh, I've been in and out of the gym for like a year. I said, okay, I, I can get you shredded, no problem. But I'm telling you right now, you're not going to be happy with your size. You're going to be like a lot smaller than you are now, you know? So my biggest advice is build a foundation, build a base, get bigger, get stronger, and read and research and learn. Don't, don't rely on a coach. Don't rely on people on social media. Even if you have a coach, do your own research. What about uh? That's that's for a young kid, right? But what about for like, let's say, a forty-five-year-old man who wants to have the size but also not be fat? And like, what advice would you give to that person? Strength training. There's too many people that just like are going to the gym and doing like five exercises for a muscle group and training at like seventy-five percent. You got to be intense. You got to train intense. You don't have to be a massive bodybuilder, but you have to exert yourself. Now, strength training, pushing hard and training for strength burns the most amount of calories and it builds a lot of muscle. So when you're strength training, you have no choice but to exert yourself. When you're just going through the motions and doing a bodybuilding routine, which is great, it's a little bit more difficult. Your average Joe isn't going to push themselves as hard. So I recommend like a 45-year-old that you know, even if he doesn't want to build muscle, a lot of 45 year olds just want to be fit. They come to me and they say, Hey, I want your help. I don't want to be as big as you, but I just want to look, okay, no problem. I know you don't want to be as big as me, but copy what I do. And maybe you'll reach your goals.
So I emulated Ronnie. I copied, I even ate grits because of Ronnie. Do I look like Ronnie? No. So you're not going to get huge just by copying bodybuilders, but their diet has to be on point and they have to train with intensity and heavy weight. And when I say heavy weight, this is one thing that bothers me. Like I say this all the time, train heavy, train heavy. I'm not talking about 500 pounds. What heavy weight means is the weight that you choose is difficult for you to complete the given reps with good form. So if you pick up, if I tell you to do 10 pounds of dumbbell curls with strict form and a two second negative, and you can't complete more than 10 reps with 20 pounds, 20 pounds is heavy for you. But nobody thinks of 20 pounds as heavy. That's what heavy means. You know, like Vlad, like most people don't know what eight to 10 means. What does eight to 10 mean? Eight to 10 reps means if you can't do eight, the weight is too heavy. If you could do more than 10, the weight is too light. But yet you still see people in the gym going eight, nine, 10. They put the weight down. It's like, why'd you stop? Because I hit 10 reps. Yeah, but you didn't struggle. You know, the last, the last two reps should be very, very difficult. You should have a hard time completing it. So I don't care if the person is doing four to six reps or uh, 10 to 12 reps or 15 reps. If they train with that mentality that – Every set at the end, the last two, three reps is difficult and they're pushing themselves. You're going to get results. You're going to burn fat. You're going to gain muscle, period.